Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey. Good morning everybody, beautiful, beautiful morning, it was quite warm still yesterday and now it um, just got cold overnight, got some snow, unfortunately the weather is so unstable that it'll melt again so it's not very nice. Today I'm going to be working a little bit on the cow shelter which is very excited because I really have to be doing that. Hey, lucky girl. Come here. Come here, girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are a cutie pie, that's what you are. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. No, no milk. No, no licking. No licking. No, li no, 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 no. You, you haven't been milking forever. Why do you, why are you like this? Can I rub you instead? Can I rub you instead? Go sledding. Oh my. It's not working. It's not working? I wonder why it's not working. Why? I think it's not enough snow and it's not steep enough. You need to be on a hill. Can I look for a hill for you? Yeah. <laughs> I have to work now, buddy. We gotta look at a house. So here in the cow shelter, I'm going to make some changes compared to last year when the cattle were in here. I'm gonna be feeding them against this wall. So there's gonna be a gap about the width of one of these big round bales. And then up there, I still have hay in there. And I'm going to make a little opening there as well, so I can put our small bales straight down there to the feeders. I have two of these feeder fronts, that's what I'm going to be using. And then we're going to start to fill up this bedding area already with about 20 to 30 centimeters of bedding material. So that is going to be about 8 to 12 inches to start with and that is already going to be mixed with corn and all that still have to go buy that or oats you could use as well and then i'm going to be adding to this every week and i will have to be adding the right amount of carbon that's different for straw or wood chips or or um, wood shavings or sawdust you have to calculate this because the cow manure has a carbon nitrogen ratio of 15 to 1 and it needs to be 30 to 1 for the right kind of compost. Danny, what are you doing? Um, You're trying to find a hill? Huh? You're trying to find a hill? No, we touch the... What is that? Uh, cows? So we can't find a hill here right now and Danny has decided to help me work instead and I'm not kidding. This three, almost four year old is one of the hardest workers that I know. Right, Danny? I'm not choking. Thank you. 
I hate mild winters. Pouring rain out here. Our ham is air drying right here. Gonna give it another week or so before we're gonna smoke it, cold smoke it. But it's looking amazing. So, our cows are finally in the cow shelter again. We are doing the same deep bedding system that we did last year. This year I'm gonna use oats instead of corn to put into the deep bedding. We kind of restructured the entire cow shelter. I have this big walkway here now. I can actually just put a round bale here and roll it out over the entire length here. And the cattle can be here eating. One question that I have received from one of you guys is how do you know um, if your cattle are eating enough or how much to feed them? And we feed our cattle as much as they possibly could eat. You want to be able to stuff them as much as possible. Um, we do not feed any grain and we really try to avoid silage. Um, ourselves we only make hay. It's really hard to buy hay because pretty much all farmers do haylage or silage which is a fermented grass which is not naturally good for the animal. But we do as much as possible hay and we try to feed them as much as possible. So basically winter time, we just give them free access. Now, it depends on the quality of your feed, how much the cows will leave over. Um, you can use the, the, you know, they leave the thicker stems and stuff. You can either, either use that to cover your deep bedding or we could give it to the pigs who like to munch away on it and so they don't get bored. You have these options. And then again in the summertime, you just t try to feed them as much as possible. Now, how much that is, it just varies so much from breed to breed. We have the Highland cattle, which is a smaller breed, and they need less winter feed because they are so well insulated. But, I, you know, generally as a rule, we say that for a whole winter, we need five to six big round bales for a cow. We use less. We, use, we are definitely on the five round bales end. Um, because they um, graze so long into the um, fall or winter season. So my answer to that question would be you want to try to feed them as much as possible. The drought is definitely over guys. I'm very happy to say that Mango has calmed down again. He was a bit aggressive uh, for a while after the female joined him, Peaches. We have Mango and Peaches here, the names of our two pigs. And he has calmed down a bunch, so that is really nice. You can see we have put wood shavings there for the deep bedding, which keeps it nice and dry. Doesn't smell and look at. We have six geese now. The other four that just arrived were given to us from the previous owner. They were hatched here on our farm and he wants to stop having geese, so he gave them to us. So next spring, hopefully lots of goslings. Temperatures are around freezing, it's pouring and pouring. I don't know what you do in these times. I'm very thankful that it's our off season now, it's winter time. We generally take this time to relax, read some books, be inside, uh, rest up for the upcoming season, plan ahead what we're gonna do. Um, the geese that I showed you is one thing that we're excited for for the upcoming season, to maybe even, you know, have them 
be part of the rotational grazing. We have some new eggs in the hatching machine and that's quite exciting to us that we can um, hatch a new breed of chicken and I will be sharing more in the upcoming video of that. But I also want to take the opportunity again to share about our book that we just released, The Self-Sufficient Homestead. I think this time of year is a perfect time to prepare for your upcoming seasons or for your journey into homesteading and I think that book is awesome up until Christmas. The audio version is for free. You pay the same price for the ebook and audio version as for only the ebook. So check that out on SwedishHomestead.com. Um, I think it's a very good place to start your homesteading journey at. And um, there's a free sample there that you can read as well. And you can just check it out. Thanks for today, guys. I'm going to go back inside, take it easy, edit this video, take some rest. Winter come.